that. So uh, last week we finished up our Rumble Plata module. We're going to start a new module uh, this week. We'll do it for the next uh, five or six weeks, whatever it ends up being. We're going to look at a uh, top game, uh, side control, north, south, mount, uh, some young belly stuff, and kind of the intersection of all those positions, how they overlap and how to transition between them, and uh, keeping an aggressive, stable top game. So we're going to start out by looking at a guard pass. We're not going to do a whole lot of guard passing in this module, but there's a, there's a part of it that's going to be really important to maintaining your top position, particularly your side control. So a lot of people don't have this habit, but it's a good habit to start working on. So Dave's on his back. He's uh, got his legs up like he's trying to keep me in his open guard. He's just going to kind of keep relatively relaxed for this drill. To step in, get my shin nice and deep to his thigh here, put pressure in. I'm not leaning really far. Keep my knee kind of over top of my foot, keep my back nice and straight. You guys have been in my classes, you've seen this a lot, so I'm here. Now remember when I reach down and control his hips, I'm not bending over and doing it, because that's bad posture. I'm gonna lower my, uh, lower my whole base like an elevator, I'm gonna go down. Get the hip, get the knee. Now from here, I'm just gonna step out, and step over his knee, okay? You guys are used to us doing this position, we're just doing a little variation on that here. So I'm gonna step out, so have his legs between my legs. So from here, I'm gonna do a cross knee pass. So it's mostly my hips, my head's, my head's going to stay in, in the uh, relatively same position here. I'm just going to push my hips forward here. I'll keep my weight directly on his hip. Now I can just drop it to the mat and slide through. Get an underhook, start controlling this arm. But from here, you see how Dave still kind of turned towards me naturally? I'm going to drive my hips backwards and kind of uh, circle his hips away from me. So I'm going to do this. Get his hips to turn. Then get nice and tight in here. So I want to make sure I can kill his hips. If Dave stays in this position here, He's in a pretty good position to start shrimping and escaping. You can start creating space here. If I'm inside, I can start walking back into his hips. And you can it to rotate him away a little bit. This nice and tight here. Use my elbow against my uh, against his hip and kind of driving him towards my thigh. I get his uh, hips killed here. It's a little bit more efficient for me. It's something you'll do after your guard pass and also as you're maintaining the position. So here, boom, lower hip, knee. Just take a step over that leg real quick. Cross knee through, I'm going diagonally, I'm not going straight through. Boom, drop down, and slide right into my, into my uh, like a case of Katame position here. But instead of going right into, uh, instead of going right into attacking his upper body, his hips are still a little bit uh, threatening me here. So I'm just going to walk backwards. Keep my hip nice and low if I do this, kind of like a shrimp. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Walk back, turn him away. Okay. I don't need him to go all the way here, but I don't want him to be facing me. So if I can get him, Legs point straight up, that's pretty good, or even just a little bit away is going to be cool for me. One more time. Here, lower, then control the knee. Just stepping out a little bit, straddling this leg, cross the knee, drop it down nice and low, keep everything nice and tight here. Now from here, my hips staying tight to the mat, just drive it back. Get nice and tight to his hip here. Okay? Pretty simple, but it's going to be really important. So start working on that, guys.